Howdy everyone, Henry TV here with some more Pokemon Uranium. Last episode, we made it here to Comet Cave after exploring, I think it was Route 4, and now Theo is with us. Okay then, he thinks his Pokemon are cool. Okay, as long as he likes his Pokemon. But yeah, we're in Comet Cave, and since we have a, another person with us, I assume that we're going to be seeing wild double battles here. So yeah, also, I've been trying to like figure out where this music is from, and sounds like it'd be a thing from Mystery Dungeon game, but I'm not too sure. Okay, you just pop out of the stairs like that, okay. And why not? Even though we have both of these Pokemon, I'm just gonna show off that this is a wild double battle. And I assume he's... I think he said last episode that he's gonna heal our Pokemon, so... Yeah. But this this could be a good place to grind as well. Oh, you're burned. Cool. And it looks like the game is kind of having trouble with these wild double battles. Well, whatever. I mean, they're pretty much going to be cut out unless I see something new. So, yeah. And just to make sure... Yes, my party is healed also. Rallis, you need to be up front. Anything else you say, Theo? Nope. Okay. Hopefully this cave isn't that big. Okay, that was kind of annoying, because poison gas hits both of the Pokemon in the battle, but whatever. Oh, that's a thing. A Comite? Okay then. Here's the plan. I'm gonna knock out that Raptorch. Or... Huh. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I don't have... Okay, first off, just to make sure. Yeah, I can't... Okay, I could do that in Coliseum and XD, but no, I can... That's always, like, been a gripe I've had with, um... Wild... Double battles in... Uh, 4th Gen on. Okay, Comite. What can you do? You can get lit on fire. And burned. Rock Psychic? Okay then. Ooh, I'm on a timer then if I want to catch this thing. Yikes. Who knows, I could actually maybe use this thing. Really? Not necessary. You you target the wrong thing. I want Raptorch to go down just so I have one less thing hurting this thing. Okay, come on. Let me catch you. Two? Three? Nice. Okay, Kamite. Welcome to the group. No, just rock. It can retract its legs into its body and appear to be an ordinary rock. Stories say they arrived on an asteroid. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's check out the fella. Hmm. Interesting. Don't know if I'm going to use it yet, but maybe. I'll decide on that later. Just because it does seem like a cool Pokemon. Okay, so what what type is Raptorch? Because it got hit with a rollout, which should be super effective against fire type attacks, but Huh. Is it like fire ground or something? Okay, so Rallis ended up gaining a level and learned Spark. I got rid of Defense Carl for that, but I also caught another Comite because this one has sturdy, which might be more handy than Hustle. I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I did switch. 
Okay. Also, danger. Okay then. Don't know what's so dangerous about this place, but I think I'm managing fine. I mean, then again, Theo is healing me after every battle, so... There is that. Ooh, split. Uh, left or right? This way. This looks... Okay, looks optional, so... Yay, and a dusk stone, that can come in handy. Don't know what I could use it for, but... Okay, let's... You know, I'm thinking of just keeping Saurian in the lead. Yeah, Saurian has Air Cutter, which is making like these battles go by pretty fast, but... Eh. Whatever. Really? Okay, seriously, what type is Raptorch? Because it got hit with a smog and it's not very effective, so... Poison, is it not very effective against fighting and ground? If it's a firefighting type, that's just gonna be boring. Oh, that's a thing. There's something up ahead, why don't you go ahead and see? Yeah, no. I'm going this way. Cause there might- yep, there's an item. Great ball! Hmm, that might come in handy. Um... Let's take a look. Yeah, I'll keep Saurian up, just in case, just because Saurian is also my hard hitter right now, just because Rallus has fallen behind. The fact that... Oh, your sprite. Okay then. Yeah, the fact that Saurian evolved is really helping out a lot. But if Rallus were evolved, I'd be using him more. Okay, so there's apparently something dangerous up ahead. I wonder what it is? Tremor is nothing. We finally made it to the end. How do you know? You've never been here. Oh, are you scared? I mean, you are a little child. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, what is that thing? That's a Pokemon. Turlard. Huh. Is that the evolution to... Also, this music. Okay, then. It's a remix of the Generation 1 battle theme, but is this the evolution to Grozard? If so... Neat. You probably can't do much to me because... Because I am... A flying type, but... Okay, then. I'll catch this thing. I think it'd be cool. Ooh, Slash, that actually could hurt. Yeah, that kind of hurt. Okay, Sing, do your thing. And nice. Uh, Roost. Yeah, isn't this the music they used for, um... For Pokemon Origins, when Red bought Mewtwo? That's what it sounded like, unless... I think this is also Mewtwo's theme in Pokemon Rumble 3D Blast the game, or the one that came out in the Wii, I don't know. Because I feel like I've heard this before. Oh well. Let's catch the buddy. Come on, Turlard. Or not. You... Don't wake up. Okay, then. Uh, another quick attack, maybe? And then sing? Do not crit. Yeah, let's go for a... Ouch, I hit my headset there. Yeah, another Sing, but Sing does have the 55% accuracy, or is it 65? They, they flip-flop between accuracies in, in Pokemon games, so it's never easy for me to remember what Sing's accuracy is. It's annoying, that's what it is. Okay, so this thing has Growl and Slash and Endure. That's all I've really seen it use. It probably has a ground-type move, which it can't use, because 
again, I'm using a flying type, but eh. Come on. One, two, three. No, no dice. Okay then. Huh, you know, this could be seen as like a counterpart to the Diglett family. Just because like their bodies are underground or partially submerged underground. And assuming this is the final evolution of Grozard, then like it has like another head of its species. Because Diglett has the three heads, or Doug Trio has the three heads. And then this one has two Grozard heads. That looks slightly different, but... I don't know where I'm rambling with this, but yeah. Turlard's two heads have completely independent brains and are prone to argument. That they, ne uh, that they ever managed to coordinate at all is a miracle. Ground Dragon? That is interesting. Okay then. Let's see what you're about. Oh, you have Sandvale. Yeah, Magnitude. Okay, so I was right. Um, Rallis, I think you could do this now that there's no double battles left. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother looking for Theo. Oh, a hiker. You there, what happened to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calmed down. What? You fought a Turlard? Those are really dangerous. Hmm, that may have been the problem. When a Turlard's two heads fight with each other, it rattles up other Pokemon in the area. Okay then. Cool. We were out piece of the cave. Now we trainers can get through without fear. Okay then. I did it. I saved the day without even meaning to. Oh. Let me grab this item. And the reason I'm not running is because... Just in case... Also TM21 frustration. Just in case running like makes it more likely to fight wild Pokemon... It'd be best for me to just walk through here. At least that's my reasoning. Oh. Is this? What is this song? I don't know, but we're now in Route 5. Okay, then, did not mean to do that. Ooh, a Flaff. Mareep, not Flaffy. I want one. I like Flaff. Mareep. Why do I keep on confusing the two? I like the Mareep family. Okay then, I'm gonna catch you, you're gonna be a buddy that I'm not gonna use because I have an electric type, but I like Mareep anyways. And you know what, after this, I'll, I guess I'll end off the episode. Nice, gotcha. But um, yeah, we made it out of the cave. And okay, where am I? And where where does this lead to? Okay, so it's gonna split off. Ooh, actually, yeah, I think I could. Uh, how far? Where's the split in the route? Because I think we're actually pretty close to the next city. Um, that's what it's looking like. Rock, Rutch, Fail Town. Actually, you know what? Yeah, this is a pretty fruit in Tandor. It looks really nice. I do like the fall aesthetic. I mean, it is currently fall at the time of recording, so yeah. And I guess this is actually our first trainer battle of this episode. I mean, we have been stuck inside a cave, so yeah. Always nice to see a trainer battle. Don't charge at me. I mean, I'm faster anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. We'll water gun you. Nice. Oh, and you have one of these things. These things are weird, but okay then. Also, I do have a sizable level advantage against this thing, so I'm not too concerned. Though I might want to catch one at some point, depending on when they're available. I still, sh I, 
I should probably like explore around Route 5 to see what else is in this route, but for now, I just want to get to a Pokemon Center. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother going that way just yet. I could probably do that next episode anyways. There's never any guards here, are there? Anyways, ooh, this is Sand Gem Town music from Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. But yeah, we made it here to Rochvale Town, so you know what? I think, let me just heal first. And after that, I think we're gonna end it off here because I mean, we did just make it through a cave. So yeah, with that done, I guess I'll see y'all next time for some more Pokemon Uranium. I might decide off screen if I want to use Calmite or not. Not sure yet, but yeah, with that done, I'll end it off here and see y'all next time for some more Pokemon Uranium. Later!